Hello everybody, this is Rollo Twinner Bros. In this video demonstration, we're going to show you what you get if you buy the Scripting Exposed package for the PhraseMaker Utilities. And exactly what this package includes is the 31 script utilities in DAS scripting uh, in the DSA format. Uh, they're uncensored. You get them exactly how they uh, were used as we published them. Uh, they were DSCs in the original published package for the PhraseMaker series. But in this package, you'll get the, the uncensored uh, source code in DAS scripting format so that you can uh, analyze them. And if you like at what uh, one of the utilities does, you can uh, learn from how it works uh, with the math, with the uh, radio buttons, and with the, uh, the dials, the sliders. And there's all kinds of stuff you can, if you like one of the features uh, for one of them, you can learn from it so that somehow you can incorporate that into that experience into some of your own scripting uh, so maybe you can uh, use it to improve your renders or even possibly uh, create a uh, some new scripts of your own what you see here on the left is the actual scripts that are included in this package like we said they'll be in uh, DSA format so if we hover over one of these really quick like circle flat here uh, let's see let me get on this oh actually it may or may not pop up with what we want to show you uh, we had to get uh, DAS Studio activated here, so we'll hover over Circle Flat. And if you look in the uh, blue text, uh, hopefully you can read it. Uh, it says the file name is CircleFlat.dsa, which is the uh, it's the unencrypted, uh, the straight uh, text for that uh, utility. We also include a uh, a PDF uh, that shows a quick guide on uh, how to use the utilities. Uh, it tells you how we design the uh, original models. Uh, the character models for the letters and the numbers so that you can uh, see how some of the surface ones work. Uh, we have the color me. We also have the uh, that one's for coloring the surfaces of, of the different letter models. We also have the hollow man. Excuse me, the, the face off in the double vision. You can see how those work uh, by uh, hiding certain surfaces uh, on the model so that you get different effects. So to actually show you the difference between the encrypted versions, which were sold in the original PhraseMaker packages, versus the uh, the DSAs, the unencrypted, we'll show you that on the screen here. And if you look, uh, if you tried to look at the encrypted versions uh, from one of the original PhraseMaker packages, if you happen to buy that, uh, all you'd really see is this this bunch of uh, messed up characters, uh, nuts not readable or editable at all. But if you look on the right, this is an actual. Uh, excerpt from one of the utilities and you can see that uh, this is for the Align Center utility and you can see how it's uh, readable and editable and you can go in and change it to play around with it and see how things work so that's what this package is all about is giving you access to the actual source code for the utilities complete source code nothing's been uh, removed uh, and, and it's not uh, it's it's created it, we're giving you exactly how it was created so it's kind of meant more for the uh, semi-experienced or experienced uh, coder uh, who wants to move into DAS uh, scripting or has already done DAS scripting. But it's just as well usable by the beginner. Uh, but if you don't understand some of the things like how variables are done, how sliders and dialog boxes work, uh, you might want to look at our series on Scripting Made Simple to help you out there. Uh, I wouldn't buy anything till you look at the code if you buy this package. Uh, but then if you don't understand something, go look in our Scripting Make Simple series to see if we cover that particular part uh, that you're uh, interested in learning. Like on this demo here, you can see these, the scripting utility made some arrays. So uh, you might uh, not understand how, what, how they work and what they do, so you might want to look at our Scripting Make Simple. But otherwise, you don't really need it. This is all self-contained. It's just to expose the source code so that you can learn from it and see how to make things work inside DAS Studio with DAS Script. And here we return back to DAS Studio. And uh, the thumbnails for each of the scripts kind of show uh, what it's going to do. Uh, of course, the name uh, is pretty uh, descriptive in itself, but sometimes it may not quite make sense. But you'll see that the, uh, the thumbnails pretty well show what's going to happen. Um, so what we're going to do is we've already uh, we already built a model over here called scripting exposed, and we're just going to run maybe. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you the ones that most people are interested in. You might be uh, interested in this group characters, 
which uh, we'll go ahead and go here and expo uh, show the scene tab. And you'll see that in the scene tab here, we have two, two, uh, two groups, one called scripting and one called exposed. And if we expand the scripting one, you'll see that it's composed to these S upper, C lower, R lower. So basically, these are the actual letter models that we use to create that word. And as it is when you normally load stuff into that studio, they just all get loaded in the scene tab. And then, of course, this group characters utility uh, took everything. We, sele we selected all those, ran that utility, and it grouped them under one group, and it titled it from the first letter in each one. So that might be interesting to you if you want to ha learn how to uh, group things up in the uh, scene tab uh, using uh, a DAS uh, scripting utility uh, instead of manually. And then uh, we'll go ahead and we're going to go in here and we're going to... Uh, We'll select uh, we'll select this S upper, and we'll go ahead and zoom in on it. Uh, the other ones that people might be interested in is uh, we're going to use this color me. So we'll go ahead and run that really quick. And you'll see on this utility, you'll learn how to use buttons. Uh, you'll also see we use uh, radio buttons too up here in the top. And each of these utilities uh, in the uh, scripting exposed uh, have different features. Uh, We'll show you one with sliders in just a moment. So on this one here, you can see we've uh, we've selected the S. So we're going to say we want to change all the surfaces, the diffuse color, and we're going to set them all to black. And you'll see in the scene, uh, it darkened the uh, all the surfaces to black. You can set them all to white. Um, actually, if we pick an individual one, we could say, and this is divided into face, edge, and rear because that's how these models were designed, and that's in the PDF guide. So that if you want to design models to uh, use some of these controls, or even you know learn from these controls how to make your own coloring controls for the surfaces, you could do so. So we'll take face here, and we're going to go with oh, let's we'll pick all. Actually, if we use all down here on the channels, because we got the specular, the diffuse, and ambient, and we set them all to black. There you go. You'll see the whole complete model turn black. Because uh, they all interact different ways in the scene, depending on the lighting and different things. So we'll just go here to the face, which is we know is this front part of the letter, because that was how it was designed. And we'll use color select here, and you can see we can just pick a color, and there it is. And the rest of the model remained unchanged. So by looking at the code, uh, the actual code for this color me script, you can learn how we did this, so that you can use that. Uh, yourself and you'll see here and, and you'll find this in uh, most a lot of the utilities might have a restore button so it'll take it back to what you originally started with because when we start the utility we capture the information that we're going to be modifying and we maintain it until we're done so that if we do want to change it back we can do that and a lot of the thumbnails over here uh, if they have this little uh, this real red line with a little slash in it that's a uh, indicative of a slider bar and what that's for is uh, those scripts have sliders in them because there's some like align center here which just aligns it based on a certain spacing whereas the align center plus uh, actually uses a slider bar for you to make adjustments and we're gonna go we'll go ahead and show you one. we'll use this align center plus uh, for a few things actually we're gonna move on. We'll we'll use uh, one of these other utilities so let me go ahead and expand this out a little bit and select a couple of characters And what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and get those in focus. And we're going to run this. Uh, let's try the stack. We'll do stack up. Where's, uh, actually, we'll do stack up. Let's see, is that the one? Oh, we want the one with the slider bar so you can see how it works. Okay, and you can see in here uh, for the stack up utility, uh, what we do is we've got this slider bar and we call it gap. Uh, and we'll show you how that works. And uh, what well, we did went a little bit too far. I want to screw it. And this is a uh, this this dialog box is live. It actually works uh, as you're in the scene. You can see the things moving as we actually make the adjustments. So by if you're looking at the source code for this utility, you can see how exactly that one works. Let me go ahead and turn off this. Let me go ahead and say done. No, let me restore it. We're going to close it real quick. Uh, let me turn this uh, exposed off so we can run this again and see it. In action. So here you go. You can use these, the extra grab the slider bar, or you can use these plus and minuses on the front and the back. So you can see here where uh, this is the uh, stack up. 
Now, it looks almost like the step up, or, yeah, except that uh, we already had these all spaced across. Uh, some of these utilities are based on the grouping that you just loaded all the characters and they have no uh, formatting or a lot, you know, they're not set up in the scene so that you can do different things. And of course, here we got that restore button. We got default. Default is setting on this one is 10 uh, for stacking things up. Uh, and then, of course, you can restore it back to its original place if you didn't like what you did. And then you can exit. So, uh, if, like I said, if you're interested in DAS scripting, uh, you can really learn a lot uh, from these utilities. Like I said, you get uh, uncensored access straight to the source code, it's all included. Everything you see here on the screen uh, in the content library here is what you'll get. Uh, I think you'll find it very interesting. And uh, if you want to learn more about DAS, uh, the features of DAS scripting and what you can do in DAS Studio uh, in code or programming, as uh, us old timers like to call it, I think you'd really like this package. Uh, just as a quick reminder, this uh, this is not a training package. This is just actual all the source code contents originally used for these uh, 31 phrase maker utilities. Uh, so if you have no experience with DAS scripting, uh, we recommend that you not necessarily purchase this package, but maybe look at our phrase, uh, excuse me, scripting made simple series to see if you really want to learn scripting. But if you're already an experienced coder uh, in DAS uh, Studio or not, and you're interested in uh, how these utilities work, this package is for you because it contains all the uncensored source code. Uh, last note really quick, uh, that's not heavily commented, so if you don't understand uh, the DAS scripting language and what it's based off, it could get confusing, or you just might have to do research at the uh, DAS uh, docs site. Thank you very much for your time, and have a great day.